Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's the first project of senior year! Welcome back, I am back at school right now. Ignore my laptop, I am currently just uploading a video. Speaking of editing, today's video is sponsored by Wondershare Demo Creator, which is an editing app that I've been using to add these little widget animation things to my vlog. I think they're super cute and I want to teach you guys how to do it really quick. So here I have one of their widgets pulled up. I'm going to change the text in it and then you just submit it and it does all the animation stuff for you. So if you want to try it out, you can go onto their website, which is at wondershare.com and you can check out the Demo Creator for free. They have a free trial that you can try so all you have to do is go to their website and then click download at the top make sure you find the demo creator and i will also have a code for you all you can download it from there and then do all the instructions as always if you have a mac or windows they also have the screen recording option that i'm using as well to show you guys how to use this and it's super easy to use as well it just has a few buttons so to start you're going to want to import your footage like normal onto any editing software so i have some footage here of my cute little bears i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to spice up with their little effects so when you drag your footage onto the track, there's a few different tracks that you can use, which basically means your footage won't be getting mixed up, which is really nice. This is my favorite pack that I've been using and it has a couple different effects in it. And all you do is drag it there and then it's right on your video. All you have to do is change the text and it really makes it simple to spice up your video and also give your video a little theme, which I think is really nice. Their effect packs have a bunch of things like sticky notes, annotations, little animations and all that type of stuff. And each pack is different. So you can have a fun time exploring all of those and it's just something that i haven't really found in the editing softwares that i've been using so i really like using this one and so now that i've added them your video kind of looks like this with your little animation and you can just keep going and adding them and when you export you have an option to export directly to youtube which is really amazing but i'm just going to be exporting it to my laptop today and you just click export and it does all of it for you and when you finish it looks really amazing and cute i love how these little animations look i think they look really professional so i will be using them more for sure and i hope you guys check them out i will have a code for you guys below you can check out their website there and my room is super messy so please don't look at it ah. i'm gonna set my laptop here strategically so you cannot see the rest of my room because i am still in the process of moving in i'm very excited we are doing a project i think i'm gonna do something flower cat related for this project actually i don't know how it's gonna go i have a single sheet of pink paper i i do need more it's not due until this Thursday? Wednesday? Thursday? Right now it's Saturday, so I'm gonna be working on this project. I'm gonna be vlogging it. We're going back to the vlog format of RISD. I just realized I wanted to put little stars on, but I forgot to do it. Give me one second. That is better. Now that my makeup is how I actually wanted it to look because I don't know how I forgot that little detail. We're gonna be doing the first project. We're at my desk this year. My desk setup is way better because I don't have my giant laptop and PC setup here. If you guys are interested in what my setup looks like, right now for gaming i'll link it right here i have it all fixed at home but i didn't bring it this semester so no gaming on twitch this semester but we are going to be having a huge desk as you can see my desk is facing a window this year so the lighting is super duper good so i hope you guys are excited I just want to get started on this project because as you guys know, I don't like to procrastinate and I get really, really stressed when I do. So I have a bunch of leftover materials from this year. <laughs> I have a bunch of leftover stuff from just like the last three years of being at RISD. I'm a senior this year, which is terrifying. But also that means that by the end of the year, I'm going to have to move out. And so I really want to focus this year on using up leftover materials and also saving money because not only one, will I have to move all the stuff back by the end of the year, but two, it'd just be nice not to use money you know as well as i can this is my binder of scrap paper if you guys don't remember i did have this a while ago i'm gonna keep this out because i feel like it'll be useful for this project i'm definitely gonna be using these to be honest these little sparkle sheets these are also leftovers from an assignment so i'm gonna keep those out i just feel like that fits the theme maybe we can use this bristol she just wants us to use any kind of paper maybe i should use like illustration paper. I know this is like kind of high quality paper to be using, but honestly, I use so many different kinds of paper that it doesn't really matter what I use. What is this? Is this like cardstock? Oh, I have cardstock. Maybe I should use that just because that's probably the cheapest thing I have. And it seems like I have a bunch of it and honestly, I don't know when I'll be able to use it again. Maybe I'll use different paper. I think that's actually the best idea is if I use a bunch of different papers. Maybe I'll use some watercolor paper and maybe a mixture of these papers I feel like is good. 
I also don't know what my plan is in terms of actually making the book because I really like book binding as you guys know but I've done basically the same stitch for all of my book bindings they've all been kettle stitch bound except for one and I didn't even like how that came out so I think I will also low-key just go on google right now and look up some different book binding methods to find this out This class is very... I can't really tell the vibes of the class yet, so every time I make my first project, I always feel kind of nervous, but I think I'm going to do a more loose interpretation of what I would normally do for a book assignment, because when I make books, I like to make them very, very pristine. But I think I'm gonna do something flower cut related. I have my sketchbook here of actually like the things that I keep track of with flower cat. I don't know if I'll be able to have the brain power to come up with something new and funny for a flower cat comment. So I think I might reuse one of these while- oh, that was like old classwork. I might reuse like one of these with some new additions of just like silly flower cat things. I want to do something pink and blue. I've been knowing that for a while. I think I might also use some of this. So all the paper and stuff. I'm gonna see what other paper I have. The resource store is closed, so I'll have to go and see tomorrow what they have left. But normally I do the insides of the book first and then I bind it all together. But I think for this time I might try to do the opposite. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, I'll have to gather all my materials because clearly I don't have all my materials together. It would be it would be very, very nice if I was able to do that. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I realized I have this color as well. This is just red. I thought it was more pink, so I'm actually unpleasantly surprised. I'm gonna see what I can do. I wanna work more with color, just like in general. So I think I'm gonna make this pink, blue, and white as my color palette, I've decided, but I'm excited. I don't know how it's gonna go, but sun is already setting. That's not fun. I want to get pink paper somewhere, but but I'm excited to work with flower cap because it's been a long time since I have since I've done that. So um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about this project because, like I said, I don't know the aesthetics of everyone in this class. Not that it necessarily matters, but it more matters what the professor says about it and. Some professors don't like super pristine looking work. I personally really do. Will it stop me? No, but will it be something I think about? Absolutely. So it's just something I would like to know of beforehand, but unfortunately I don't. So maybe I will figure that out. I think for this first project, this is a safe idea and I want to incorporate as many different textures as possible so that I can use the professor because I know she really likes texture. So we're gonna see how it goes. So since I was completely lacking materials today, I just ended up doing some of my homework for my liberals class, which is not that exciting. I just took some notes on some readings that I had to do, and I also ate dinner while I did it. So here's a time lapse of me eating dinner that I got from Whole Foods a while ago, which was actually in my last vlog if you want to go see it. But I just spent the night doing some readings, and then the next day was much more exciting because this is when I was actually going to get materials to do my homework. Hello everyone, so it is officially the next day. I had to do quite a bit of waiting to get to this moment because I didn't do any work last night and it made me really nervous, but I did do some editing, so at least I got that done. And I took some notes as well. I pretty much just like worked on liberal stuff last night because I couldn't do this assignment, but I'm about to run a bunch of errands, so I need to go to the library. I need to check out a book because I don't want to spend money on this book. I'm about to go to the RISD store to pick up materials. I'm gonna come back here, drop them off, and then I'm gonna go to the gym real quick in the morning ish time before everyone else goes and then i'm gonna start on this assignment so busted out the sad but cool shirt i love this shirt okay i'm stupid i just walked by the library they're not open till 2 p.m so i have to wait until 2 p.m and check this book out so we're gonna go to the store first i just realized that it's actually 12 o'clock so it's a long way until 2 p.m so since i'm out i might just go straight ahead to the store and then the gym and then i'll get the book on the way back the only thing is i forgot a hair tie but I guess I'll work out without a hair tie today, it's fine. It's gonna be majorly sucking. <laughs> Back at the grocery store in the beautiful paper section. Ah. Don't really know what I'm doing though. Just really quickly at the RISD store, this is a little bit of paper that they had in this weird section. So I'm looking through their envelopes to find small scraps of paper and they also have this little sale section. I'm just looking for pink paper as well for my pink project. So I had to stop by my room anyway because I got this whole roll of Demerol Vellum. I don't know entirely what I'm doing with it yet, but I will figure it out. But I realized today's outfit calls for the strawberry bag. I'm not really wearing like a fit to be honest, but like, yes, I think so. So we're gonna put my wallet and my AirPods in here. 
It's beautiful. Time to go to the gym. I'm so excited. I love this gym. I literally just walked by the Starbucks by my school three times for getting I ordered a sandwich for lunch. I'm gonna eat on the way to the gym. I don't know how that happened three separate times, but it did. But now we're gonna go to the gym for real. The gym now. We have to keep our masks on the whole time, so I'm dying. But I'm gonna go back and take a shower now. Very excited. Good workout today. I literally walked all the way back to RISD from the gym, and I realized the library I need to go to is not the Fleet Library, but that I am now arrived at. So I had to walk back up the hill towards the direction I just came from. So I'm at a different library. This is not the Fleet Library, but they had the book that I needed, so I came here, but I actually had a fee on my account, so I wasn't able to check out the book today. It was really annoying. Okay, I got my life situated. I literally just took a nap, but I'm going to get started. I'm going to score these first. I'm gonna do a little bit of work because I'm gonna go to the mall with my friends really quick to pick up some stuff that we need. Moving in is a process, you know, we're still moving in. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work right now and see what I can get to. So finally time to start on the assignment. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a flower cat assignment and this project is literally just to use paper and make a book. So it is super open-ended. So I started by making these scalloped edges on my book just because I know I want to do that and it also reflects flower cat well because you know flower cat's got a little flower around his head so it's super cute like that but I'm just cutting these out in this was such a tedious meticulous thing that I did so of course I did it but instead of cutting them all out just individually of course I have to line them up because if you guys don't know when you fold paper inside of each other it does this weird like buckling thing like it makes sense with the surface area but like it's a whole thing to account for so edges of books are really hard to keep straight and when you have this weird like scalloped edge it makes it even harder so i just had to be super detailed about it and do each page one by one instead of just cutting them how i wanted to and it turned out okay it just took a lot a lot of trimming but i'm doing the pink pages right now and i actually scored one of them wrong but it's okay because i don't think anyone ended up noticing but I'm just going through and doing them for all the different signatures that I wanted to do. I think I ended up doing like six of these, but I don't honestly remember because this was so meticulous. It feels like I did like a bajillion of them, but I spent the time cutting the paper today and it took so, so long. But finally, after a while, but then a while later, we went to the Met for dinner. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my god, it's so- wait, this is too- here we go. Hello! We finally returned to the Met and got ice cream! It's been so long, we got so much food! You better plug Rice's channel. Plug Rice's channel! Go subscribe to Rice or Cruise! I don't make vlogs though. Yeah. None I make that. like- I don't know what I make. I just be making things. Okay, I'm gonna go eat ice cream. Bye. And we also got boba tonight, of course. We got kung fu tea and my drink spilled a little. All right, officially home. Honestly, we were out longer than I expected, but I'm gonna try to do some work now. Okay, we're back at the issue of not having enough lighting, but I have cut out all of the sheets. They all have a scalloped edge, which I didn't really think through, honestly, when I did it, but now that I did it, I've realized it reflects flower cap in his flowery nature, so it kind of makes sense. Is it super perfect? No. But is it honestly close enough? Yes. This is definitely gonna be something I'm gonna be working on for the next few days, just like going into it, so I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm thinking of if I want to bind it first or not. I also have some den roll that I want to cut out and like line the sheets with. I will be doing that tonight too, I think. I don't really know what the cover situation is gonna be yet. What we have so far. So now we're gonna focus on the other pages. Like I said, I had this Denral vellum, which is basically like a weird plasticky papery thing that one of my professors introduced me to in freshman year. And I wanted to keep using it and I've been using it, um, but I haven't really used it like well. So I thought it'd look really nice in this just because it's an exploration on paper. So I think it'd look nice having some different materials in my book of papers, if that makes sense. So I'm just cutting out a few sheets of them. This came in that huge roll, so I had to cut it all up and it turned out okay. I also had to cut the scallops on them too, but here's the next day. 
Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. So today I am all dressed up for class. I got my earrings in. I'm wearing all silver today, which is really fun. I never do that. I found some studs that I had in my makeup drawer. So I got all silver jewelry today. And these are so cute. These are from like Shanghai. These are from Anna Luisa, obviously. And I got my backwards, I think. There we go, I got this on. Um, I guess this is gold, but whatever. And I'm ready for class. I've been working on this little book. I think what I'm gonna do, these are the plans, right? Is I'm going to have a page and then a page of the general vellum, which is like this translucent looking thing. And then I'm gonna be drawing on like both of them, but I want to get all the pages cut first before I start drawing on them. I don't think I'm gonna bind it first just because I am still worried about making a mistake. So this way, if I do make a mistake, it'll be fine. I went to the mall yesterday. I got some concealer and I feel like it's really good, right? Like you can't really tell I have concealer on. I know I didn't need it too much to begin with, but I just wanna try it out because I've noticed sometimes like, I feel like my under eyes are really dark. So I'm slowly transitioning into maybe wearing face makeup. Will it continue? I don't know. And honestly, I'd probably be more prone. <laughs> Why is my hair doing that? More prone to wearing it if I wasn't having a mask on all the time, but I do, so yeah. I'm gonna get ready for my class. I gotta go downstairs and eat, but I'm just gonna pack up my notebooks and get ready to go. And this is my scientific one. And seriously, I, I talked about this in my back to school video, but I love campus notebooks. Like these are my notes from last year from my science class. And then now this year I have a science class as well. And I can just put the sheets in the front cause like you can open these rings like that and they open and then you can like slip the pages in and out. So love that, you know, cause also like I'm not wasting notebooks that way. Cause I can consolidate all of them into one notebook. So yeah, I got all my, my stuff, my important stuff. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing because this is still technically the first week of classes, even though I had a couple classes last week. They're not quite done yet. For the fit, we're doing oversized today because I'm really tired of like tight clothes because I've worn them a lot lately. So we're doing like super oversized chunky stuff. I'm thinking of wearing my sandals just because I haven't worn them at all. So I can find a pair of socks that match this outfit. I will be wearing those sandals. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and eat and then we're gonna head to class. Here are the shoes. I feel like they're cute. They don't necessarily go with the fit, but they don't necessarily not go with the fit. So I'm gonna keep them on. I could also just wear my Converse, but I really wanna wear these shoes today. So yeah, let's go. Let's go get some food in our bodies as I always say. <laughs> Here's the pasta that I ate for lunch, I guess. I went all the way downstairs and ate just to realize I literally forgot the drawing materials that I needed for my class. I'm going back to get them right now. Yay. So to be honest, I don't know exactly what I need. I think she said to just bring some like markers and stuff like that. So I have, I already have pens in here. I know that. I have these colored pens that I love. These are the juice pens from Pilot, I wanna say. Yes, and these are so nice. They write a lot like Muji pens, but I think their colors are nicer. So I'm gonna bring these in my book bag. And then I will also bring just maybe like a couple of markers. These, what are these called? Posca, oh my God, I literally forgot what Posca markers are called. I'll bring some of these and I'll bring some uh, mild liners just cause I don't feel like doing the most today. I wanna see what colors I have to offer. Okay, I feel like that's a good array of colors. I guess I can put them in my egg pencil case cause I don't really have anything else to put them in. Also my whole entire, oh, my whole entire body is so sore from the gym, which is excellent because I did um I did some weightlifting yesterday. I'm gonna just bring some cardstock because I don't anticipate this paper needing to be very fancy. So I'm gonna put this in one of the sections of my folder. I'll put it in this section, the little dog bread pen, melon pen thing. Um, I think they're all dogs with bread like qualities. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm actually ready for class and I will be heading over now. I like how my makeup looks today. I feel like I look so cute and I like my hair. I did my side part thing like I used to in high school. Honestly, I haven't put my hair in like a ponytail or really in any style for like a long time. So doing some fun things with it again. Now we're ready for class, I guess. Okay. 
so now I'm in class. If you look really, really closely, some of my sketches are behind me, but it's not that important, so whatever. But after class, I went and ate dinner with my friends and I was super, super hungry, so this was really good to me. Got some, got some dinner, gotta do work later, very tired. Okay, it is after class, we are at CVS, I'm getting some stuff that I need. We're also gonna go to Insomnia Cookies, because after dinner, I am just so hungry. So, we're gonna get some cookies and other desserts, because it's tasty. Mary, cookie! cookie. Cookie. So I got insomnia cookies. It was really really good and I honestly love insomnia cookies. I almost never get it, but when I do, it's always tasty. And now back home, we're going to start working again. So I got those blue papers from that sale section at RISD. So I'm going to be cutting out the scallops as well. So as you can see, I'm going to fold them into my book before I cut it just so that the edges line up as well as possible. Obviously, I know that when I move it and bind everything it's not gonna stay like that but i'm just trying my best out here so we're gonna do that and just spend a lot of time cutting you know this is a long long process and i almost wish i had a laser cutter i almost wish but also i just know it won't be precise but anyway the next day hello everyone good morning i need lip tint i swear i only put this on for videos now because no one ever sees under my mask okay now i look alive hello everyone welcome it is the morning it is a day i want to wash my hair but i can go for a little bit longer um i'm thinking of going to the gym today which is why i'm not gonna wash it so we're just gonna have it go for one more day but today i have my liberal class so my plans are because i didn't actually work on this project at all yesterday even though i meant to so i think today i'm finally gonna pick up my watermark order because i tried to yesterday at two but um they informed me that they actually aren't open at two so they're only open from two to four on thursday through friday but on monday through wednesday they have a different schedule um so since my class lets out earlier today because it's a liberal class i'll be able to go so i'm going to go to class go get my going to get my watermark order and then i'm going to get my library book no that's the wrong order i'm going to go to class get my um Oh, I guess I'm going to the gym, I can get my library book on the way. So I'm going to go to class, get my watermark order, get my mail, come back here, put my mail down, put my watermark order away, go to the gym, get my library book, come back, take a shower, wash my hair, and then get to work. So that's what I'm planning to do because tomorrow I have another liberal class, but I already finished my homework for that. I have a bit more free time today, but i um, excited. Should I put on these rings again? Why not? I've really been liking these rings. One of these is a Julia ring, not Spawn. And another one is just this ring I got in Hawaii. And it's like really cute, has little smiley faces on it. And so I'm packing my stuff up, ready to go. I'm pretty much ready. So yeah, let's go to class. Small meal. It's only 11, so I'm just gonna eat a little muffin and then go to class. Okay, so I just finished class. I just got my mail. Um, we're gonna go get my groceries now. Okay, so I got my groceries, got my mail. I'm going to go up to the gym, do a quick workout. It's only like 12 right now. Um, so I'm gonna go to the gym, work out, come back, take a shower and just work for the rest of the day. I need to finish editing a video by today because I need to get it checked by a sponsor and I need to, what else do I need to do? I need, I need to do work. I haven't really been doing work. So we're gonna go to the gym right now. Woo! Book acquired. Book acquired. Gonna go to the gym now. So excited. Woo! Currently cooking right now. I just meal prepped a bunch of chicken. I don't like keeping these uh, open. So I just like meal prep all of them for the week or whatever. Cooking some tortellinis. Yes, they look like wontons. No, they're not. And we're gonna make that again. College life, cooking food. This is how it be. It's kind of gloomy outside. It's getting gloomier. My standards for gloom are very, very high. And that like, if it's even the slightest bit gloomy, I'm like, cancel today, no more. <laughs> 
Okay, so last night I actually worked on this a lot, so I haven't bound it yet. I think I'm gonna put some of the actual info on the inside today. It's gonna be about flower cap, but I spent a lot of time trimming the edges, which you can't really tell right now, but I swear they're actually like decently neat. The middle panel has this sheet of paper in it. I was just playing with some like different paper types and patterns. So the whole book is about this thick and it looks like this. I'm thinking of doing some cutouts in the den roll right here that it says like flower cat or something um, just because I think that those would be cute accents. But yeah, hopefully, well, I guess I'll have to finish it up tonight because it's due tomorrow. So yeah. Good morning, everyone. I am in a good mood because my video uploaded last night, so I'm going to get that checked today or whatever. But today is gonna be the main work day on this project because to be honest, I have been going out with my friends every single night getting boba because I cannot readjust to RISD life for some reason. But I think now that we've had a full week of classes, I'm like getting settled in and everything's making sense again. I just did my makeup. I have a liberal class in about like an hour or so. So I'm gonna eat and do everything. Very proud of myself for eating before all my classes this week. It's really hard for me to like wake up that early. I know it's not early, but to me it's early. And my, my internal clock time is just set to a different time, I guess. So I'm not good at eating before my classes and then I get hungry. So yeah, but this is what I was working on last night. I cut out some of these blue sheets as you can see and then there's a lot of different stuff in there. I think I'm going to, I'm not going to fill every page. I've realized I cannot do that because first of all, I did not work on this project as much as I would have liked to this week. But also, I just don't think it's necessary because I don't know how many pages there are. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like 26 pages or something like that. So definitely won't be able to do that, but that's okay. I'm going to go to my liberal class because that's right now. And well, first I'm actually gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to my liberal class, but this is what it looks like so far. We got three signatures, that's it which is a different way of binding than I've normally done. Like I said, I wanted to do a different way of binding, but I think I'm just gonna do a kettle stitch with three signatures that's different enough for this time. I can't really sacrifice anything going wrong right now because it's literally due tomorrow. But yeah, I like how my hair looks today. I washed my hair last night. I need to get my roots done when I go back to Georgia, but that won't be for a minute. I'm also wearing this new lip tint. It's like velvet matte finish. I really like it. I'm just worried it's gonna dry out my lips a ton, which is why I don't know wear these. It's fall season, finally goes with what my hair looks like because I used to have pink hair and I couldn't wear this lip tint because it was like very orangey so it made my hair look weird. And there's sirens outside, but I'm gonna get dressed and find something to eat somewhere. I don't know where, probably portfolio. Here's the fit, very basic today. Got my Converse's on, baggy pants. I'm just like, I'm just like not feeling getting dressed up today. So I feel like my amount of makeup compensates for the rest of me, but better lighting. Very baggy day, but that's okay. I think it's time to get something to eat. So yeah. Also, I low key love this lip tint. This is the Misha one. This is the one I'm using. I have this in a pink as well, if you guys have seen it on my vlogs, but this is like, I didn't like it when I first tried out. I think I might have actually tried on a vlog, but like, do you see how pretty? I love like that is matte. It doesn't feel super drying yet. I'll have to see throughout the day, but this is the one for autumn, guys. I'm so excited for autumn to come. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like looking at Pinterest at like autumn stuff. I'm just ready for the weather to get colder because it's like kind of in the limbo right now where it's like, it's kind of cold, but it's kind of not. So it's like, can we fully get there please so I can prepare myself? But yeah, also just put some oil in my hair like i said i don't really need to do it too much anymore because my hair is actually the healthiest it's ever been since i want to say high school just because i was jumping around stylists a lot which was not the move i was trying to like find someone who could do something cheaper for better and it just never happened so i went back to my old stylist and she totally fixed my hair and so it's in recovery right now but it's basically good the top layer of my hair is a bit unhealthy to about here as you can see because it stands up i like dyed that part myself but this inside part feels super healthy i need to get the tone evened out and i might dye it pink soon or orange for Halloween I don't know but that's that's life right now but I I love this lip tint like can we see it in the in the sun do you see how pretty <gasps> I love it yes okay I take everything back because I just went got my breakfast from Starbucks because there wasn't anything Apple fully I wanted to eat and and I went and delivered my mail so hot outside I have to go back to my room and change 
because the building I'm going to has no AC, so I will die. Changed my pants into shorts because it is like 85 outside, but it's so hot. I don't even want to go to class. <sighs> Love life. Okay, just got out of class. I feel like I'm finally breaking in my docks because they actually didn't hurt today walking the short distance. So I feel like that's progress. So I'm gonna look for something to eat, hopefully. My hair is constantly in my face, oh my god. So a bit later, I ended up going to get some boba with my friends. I didn't actually get any, but this place was new and I haven't seen this place before, so that was pretty cool. And we were also on the way to like this other grocery store, so we figured that we might as well go. So we went, I got some things that I've been needing because I don't really have groceries. And then we went back to Portfolio for dinner. Okay, so it is officially time to be working on this project. I'm thinking if I should bind it first. I think I'm going to do some of the cutouts that I said I wanted to do in some of these sheets of the den roll. So I'm going to do that and then after that I'm going to bind all of them and then I'm going to do some drawings in them. I'm debating if I want to make a cover. I honestly don't think it really needs a cover so I feel like there's no need to be doing that. So I'm just going to we're going to do some cutouts right now. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm scared I'm going to mess it up and then it's going to look very bad. But I feel like it'll be okay. My lamp's right here. So sorry about the super harsh lighting. Let's go ahead and try to cut some things out of it. And now it's time to work again. So I'm going to be doing the little cutouts in the general vellum, which is something I had envisioned, but I don't really know how to do it. So this took so long. I drew out flower cat. I drew it wrong. So I erased it and did it again. And then I did it wrong again. So I erased it and did it again. But basically I'm drawing it out on paper so that I don't mark the general vellum because because it's plasticky, it's really hard to erase. And this was so meticulous because I really wanted to make sure the lines were straight because if they weren't straight, this was gonna look so messy and not good. So I'm playing this one clip for you in normal speed just to show you guys how long it took. I won't be torturing you by making you watch the entire process, but this is just the process of cutting out the F and the L and it just took so long lining things up, making sure everything was like perpendicular on the cutting mat, you know, I couldn't move anything. I taped this paper to the back of the dental vellum just to make sure it wouldn't move and I was just really focused about making things straight. So it was a whole process, you know, but it was honestly so worth it in the end. So I'm really excited to show you guys how it comes out. But here's me doing the L taking my time. This is also a brand new X-Acto knife, so it's like really, really sharp and it makes me very, very happy. But it's also scary because freshman year, I cut my thumb really bad with an X-Acto knife because I never used an X-Acto knife before RISD and now I cannot like ever leave an X-Acto knife. It is everything that I need in life. So I'm gonna be cutting out this L. It took me a long time. I took so long trying to make sure everything was perfect and right, especially because I'm really bad at cutting things. Somehow, every time I cut out paper, it is always the wrong size. I always cut it like an inch too short because I just like can't read numbers for some reason. And also, I'm sorry my bangs are in this frame, but I'm like really close to the paper. But this part is so satisfying when you finally peel off the little letters and it comes out nicely. This letter word flower took me forever, as you can see but I think I did low-key start getting a little bit faster at it just because I was getting a little bit more confident. Was I also getting sloppy? Um, maybe a little bit, I don't know. I think I quit while I was ahead with these letters because I didn't cut out that many and this was the most ambitious one saying flower cat and I finished this entire thing before I started getting super like annoyed and tired about doing this. So. These all came out pristine because I was still super, super patient, but this patience only lasted for so long because as you can tell, it literally took me so long and the R was so hard because it's curved, so I can't even use a ruler. I should probably get those rulers that have little circles on the inside. Would that even help? I don't know. I don't know how people cut so well with X-Acto knives on curved surfaces because my heart was beating so fast while I was doing this because I was so nervous about messing up. Also because I did not have enough dental vellum to start over and I did not want to buy another sheet of dental vellum because that would have been really dumb. So 
everything turned out okay somehow. I actually didn't make a mistake even once. I thought I would definitely cut off something it's not supposed to cut off, but I don't know. For once, everything went well, so that's good. But yeah, cutting out this R was a pain, and cutting out the O was honestly even worse. I don't know why I subjected myself to that. And as you can see, I keep trying to peel the letters off, but the edges keep getting stuck, so I have to like go back in and nick the edges and make sure that they're all right. But here I am doing the, still doing the R. It's taking me a long, long time, as you can tell, but I am glad I did it. It's really worth it. Honestly, even just drawing out the letters at the bottom, like of the paper below it, took me a long time. And if you notice, the L and the F and the W are misaligned because I started moving the paper below because I realized the letters weren't evenly spaced. So that also made me really nervous because I kind of took a shortcut to do that and I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out okay. But in the end, the flower came out good. Here I am doing the O and it is very, very nerve wracking and scary. I was holding my breath. That is so dramatic, I know, but I was literally doing it because I was like, I don't want everything to look so perfect and square and amazing. And then the O just turned out looking nasty because I can't cut like curved edges. And I feel like half of it was luck and half of me going the pace of a absolute snail, but somehow it came out okay. I'm also really surprised I didn't cut myself because as you can see, my finger is really close to that blade, but dental vellum cuts like butter. So it's really easy to like glide through it, which is also scary because that means your blade moves really fast in it, but I don't have to be pressing super hard. So it's not like my hand's gonna slip. So it was okay. And the O came out and it was almost perfect. I did end up fixing it just a little bit, but everything turned out okay. And that's how long it took me to do the word flower. So here I am doing cat at hyper speed. This is all sped up like really, really fast because um, it took me literally so long to do it. And as you can see, the C is also curved and it came out better. So I think I was improving, question mark? Is this improvement? I don't know. I had to take off the tape and everything to reveal it because I was taped down and stuff, but it looks really, really good. There were no pencil marks on it and I was very, very pleased. So if you look at it, ah, it just looks so good. It looks so clean and yummy. Oh my God. I am so sorry if my bangs were in that video a lot because I was like this close to the paper, but first one, a lot more successful than I thought I was gonna be. Um, my Jacto skills are like not that good. So I'm really surprised at how well this came out, especially considering I'm kind of rushing myself right now. Shouldn't be rushing myself. It's only 10 p.m. Why am I so stressed? I don't know. Yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I'm gonna do some more of these just because I really like the way they look and I'm going to be back. See you. So now I'm flipping through looking for some inspo on Flower Cat because he is a complicated figure and I'm doing the rest of the cutouts that I wanted to do. I'm sketching out Mrow because that is how he meows. He goes Mrow and I'm also sketching out the end just because I want to put it at the very end and I think it would look nice. So here I am doing the M and I honestly like I did the Mrow like really fast. Like this is sped up times four speed, which is not that big of an improvement, but I feel like I got a lot faster somehow. So practice makes perfect, I guess, but these came out really easily. Um, I got better with like the corners and everything and it just like started making more sense on how to do it. So here I am doing the R, super easy. Wow, O, no problem now. I can do the O. And then here I am fixing the O. This is like how I was fixing it. And this made me so nervous because I was just like freehanding it. And sometimes when you cut curves with an X-Acto knife, it literally just does whatever it wants to. Like the X-Acto knife no longer cares about the hand that's holding it. It literally just does what it feels like doing. It's like, I feel like going in this direction now. So you just have to follow it, which is really, really stressful. So I'm really surprised that it came out well and I'm very pleased about how smooth these circles are. Okay, I literally have all my hair out of my face, but here's what we have so far. I just cut out the three, I cut out three sheets. So the first one is the cover and it's this flower cat and it looks really, really good um, in my opinion. And 
then there's no more until the last portion where I will bind this soon here. It says morale, it says the end. And so I'm going to cut out more of the general just because I have plans to do the comics in here and then do the comics in here and then cut out squares of the general to like reveal certain squares that I like a lot. But I'm gonna start filling in some of the pages with some info just so I have, you know, nice things in here. I have like a R randomly here. I don't know what time it is, but I think I'm gonna give myself until 11.30 to do this and then I'm gonna work on my other homework that's due tomorrow because I, I do be having more work, but looking good so far, looking cute. Just scribble some doodles in here. And I might take some pages from the sketchbook just because this is all my flower cat stuff. I'm debating on like repurposing the stuff and I'm gonna copy this one in verbatim because I really like this specific comic. But I think for some of the other ones, like I have some other comics in here that are like not as funny and I may just cut those out and put them in here, but they look pretty good. So like this one, I really like it's Flower Cat the Surgeon. It's gonna be weird putting it in here just because it's already like front and back. Um, so I'm trying to figure it out, you know, I, I will figure it out. Now I'm gonna be putting one of the comics in here. So I wanted to redo this comic because I really liked how it came out at first. And so I wanted to do the outlines with Posca. If you saw, I actually did them in the Muji pen first and they did not look good. So I did them in the Posca and that was such a good move. I'm using this light box to trace some of the squares to this blue paper so I can cut it out and then stick it on for like a variety of color. Because if you see in the comic that I'm basing it off of, some of the squares have like black backgrounds, which is obviously me coloring it in, but I don't want to do that because I don't want it to just be pink and like blue marker. I want it to be pink, blue marker, and blue paper because again, this assignment is making a book out of paper. So that makes the most sense, but I am just putting the different boxes that I have, the different panels into the new panels here. So I'm copying the same story, but I'm making it a lot neater, a lot nicer, despite it still having the flower cat feeling of being messy and nasty and angry. He's still the same flower cat, but you know, like a high def flower cat. And he looks a lot nicer. And I fixed a lot of the drawings that I thought were really bad at the time, but I kept them in because I did them in pen. And these flower cat drawings I do without even thinking. So I literally don't have a plot for what I'm gonna do. And then I sketch them out and sometimes they're like a bop, but sometimes they're literally dumb and I never revisit them. So. Sometimes that happens, you know? And this one was one of my favorite ones, if not the favorite one that I have. So I really wanted to do it nicely and clean up a lot of the lines and everything. So I'm drawing Flower Cat and Magic Mouse. This story is about Flower Cat, who is a nasty little cat and is mean to everyone, except for Magic Mouse, because he makes candy and Flower Cat loves candy. He's like, oh my God, you're amazing. And that's basically what it's about. <sighs> one page down three more to go but i am just using what i've already drawn here because the contents of this book really don't matter so i'm just filling up the space i'm going to be using things that i already have so yeah and so i got more panels to do because this is a four page comic and i'm also moving on to the blue paper which was fun and not fun because the blue paper is like a rice paper thin like little fabricy paper so it was really weird i did the same thing with the pink paper to give it like that um, diversity, I guess, and I wanted to incorporate the materials onto each other so that it's more cohesive, which is something I really focus on in my art because I don't like when things look like they are exactly half and half because balance is key, you know? So I'm just copying these panels in, doing the same thing. It took me so long. Alrighty, it is late at night. I'm about to call it a night because I'm not planning to fill this whole journal book whatever you want to call it anyway so done with the major part i wanted to do and i'm going to be adding some embellishments into the rest but here's what we did tonight so you open it it says flower cat which looks so good oh my god and then it has these pages that also look so good i love how this turned out oh my god i think it looks so good so for the rest of the notebooks uh or for the journals i took out a cube here to use for back because the only scraps i have are this big so i literally couldn't do it but i'm just gonna go around and doing like these types of illustrations um i might do one more comic panel in the journal just to kind of even it out but i just think it looks so cute and so good 
Ah. And also here's a random clip of a Posca marker. It's new, so it's really satisfying. All right, it's been a moment, but I think I'm low key done and ready to bind. So we have, we have these pages, of course. I do slack a little bit, not gonna lie. I get kind of tired, but I think I'm gonna work on it more tomorrow. It's like two or three right now. So I'm ready to go to bed, but it's another little comic set. And the last book really doesn't have much in it at all. I'm gonna work on it more tomorrow, like I said. And honestly, whatever I finish is whatever I will keep. So this is, I think this is the end. Yeah, there's there's not much. The last one is of him smiling. So I'm going to bind this really quick with a kettle stitch bind and call it a night. Alrighty, so now we're gonna be binding it. I didn't actually finish all the insides, but I figured since it's a bunch of doodles, I can just finish them later, like tomorrow before my crit. So I'm just poking the holes and binding them. I did not get the best footage of me binding them, so I'm really sorry, but I just did a kettle stitch. I stuck the little stick thing into the ends and then I sewed them together and that's basically it. I feel like low key, I might move this sheet from here to here. Cause like, why not? I don't know why I have an uneven amount of these sheets, but I think I might do it just cause I feel like it looks better in this part than it does the second part. And the second part already has a, the end sheet at the end. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but I just punch holes in everything. Time to thread up my needle with my gold thread that I always use. I got new needles. I'm so glad I didn't decide to do some random like new method of bookbinding because it's currently 3 a.m. I would not be able to handle it. All right, time to finally bind this. So I don't feel like I necessarily like ran out of time doing this project. I'm not really sure. I feel like I just kind of got really into it and didn't realize how much time I actually needed to do this assignment. But this is difficult because the holes aren't super aligned. Okay, so I'm just doing a normal kettle stitch binding, a super long thread. I feel like it's partially, yeah, I just got like super lost in this project, so I just... So here's me stitching them together. Like I said, really horrible footage. I'm really sorry, but just take my word for it that I did a kettle binding stitch with three signatures. Hello everyone, good morning. Um, it is the next day. I am getting ready for my crit and I stayed up till four last night doing this, but I got so much done. I started working at nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four. So I did seven hours on this. I think it looks pretty good, especially considering I was like sleepy for half of it. But here it is. I'll insert some better clips later, but it says Flower Cat. And then I recreated my favorite Flower Cat comic in like a, a high def version where the lines are clean and nice, you know? Ending looks like this. Sirens outside, cue sirens. I drew something here, thought it was ugly, so I cut it out and now you can see like the little window of another thing. This is morale. And then it's just a little drawing of Flower Cat and Magic Mouse, which is his little friend. I don't feel the need to go through this whole thing just because like a lot of it is just Flower Cat comics. I don't actually like this page, so I will probably end up covering it up tonight after my crit just because like I can't cope with having it there. Because <laughs> I like the rest of it a lot. Oh my god. I like the rest of it a lot, so I can't really cope with having this one page kind of mess it up. Next page, please. I have to trim up some of these pages too because they're not perfectly aligned after the binding. Blank page. This is Flower Cat Goes to the Grocery Store. I think this is really cute. I did a lot of these without the blue paper because I honestly ran out of the blue paper and then I was really sad about it, but I think I made do with what I had. Here's more translucency. Another one about Flower Cat who meets a new friend. And just more Flower Cat comics. And I think the whole thing turned out really, really well. If you want to see more pictures of it, I'll put it on my Instagram, but we're going to go have our crit today. I think we're going to go out later. We're going to go to the gym. So cute. I haven't gone to the gym this whole week other than like, I think I went Tuesday or something. So we're gonna go and I'm excited, but I'm gonna get ready for class. I will see you guys after my crit. I, I hope it goes well, because I honestly do really like how this turned out. Also finally got some food in the fridge. So we have balls, two different kinds. We have ice cream, exciting. I'm 
already thinking about things I want to get done today. So honestly, I think I want to finish my crit, go to the gym, and get through editing the first pass of next week's video because it's a long one, but I'm gonna have all my proxy media like done right now. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. I'm trying to stay on top of my uploading schedule of every weekend. I say every weekend because I don't know if it's gonna be Friday or Saturday or Sunday because I'm a college student and it's hard to tell. But as of right now, I think I'm keeping up with it. So it's going well. Yes. Woo. Picking up stuff for ceramics. And God, these are so expensive. Oh my God, I just finished class. I don't know what that crane is behind me. My crit went so incredibly well. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Also, I want to redo my nails. I think they're long enough to do a square shape. But anyway, my crit literally went so well. My teacher loved my nails. We just talked about my nails for like, we just talked about my nails for so long, but I'm on my way back now. And so in the end, this is how it came out. I think it looks super cute. I did this for the cover. I did a little cutout and the paper got a little wonky, but you know what? That's okay because that's the charm of Flower Cat. But here's the inside. It looks so pretty. I added a lot to it during my liberal class right before this class. So all of the empty negative space I filled there. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. I will be adding nice pictures onto my Instagram. So if you wanna check that out, I will link my Instagram in the description box. But here it is. Oh, there's still some pencil marks. I need to get about erasing that, but I've yet to do it. My professor really liked this little hairball. And I love, I love, I love, I love Magic Mouse, OMG. I really like this. I actually took a panel from one of the other pages. And this, if you guys remember, is where I drew Flower Cat with a Posca marker on the den roll, and I hated it. So I cut it out because I didn't want it. And I moved the morale page to here. And then I have this little guy peeking out just because I wanted something in here. So this is just like a little doodle. This whole thing is basically just doodles, you know? So we have these, you guys saw these in the video. And then this was a previous one that I did. I have yet to cover this page. I still will because this is basically a whole work in progress book, you know, because I can keep going on this anytime I want. But here's where the new stuff starts. So I started drawing in it during my liberal class, like I said, and I added a lot to it, which of course I say when we land on a page that's empty. But I did this one, which is Flower Cat goes to the grocery store and he's just like, wow, so much, but all I want is this and his candy. And I really love how this page came out, honestly, and I love his face. He just looks so cute, you know? I did these sketches and these are the only drawings of Flower Cat with Posca markers that I like on Denral Vellum. Here's some more. Um, this is from a different comic that was in the book, the sketchbook from before, but I ended up doing this to it. I cut it all up and disjointed it. And now I want to munch something now. And look here, a little window for Flower Cat only. And so this is actually from when we used this paper because I didn't have this much pink paper left. So I just, <laughs> I just cut it out because why not? Denral Vellum. I did this comic in class. Hello, I'm Flower Cat. I'm very grumpy. And TLDR, he likes smoothies because you know what my new obsession is? Smoothies. So he meets a new friend to help him drink the tallest smoothie. Here's Flower Cat going outside for the first time. Flower Cat is outside for once. He sees many things. He meets a dancing flower and then he sees a caterpillar and he's ugly because caterpillars are ugly. Shoot. I think they should all go away forever. This page just says flower. I need to erase this. Um, <laughs> and then we have a little drawing of flower cat up there. And then I also did this in class. Zonk, sleepy time. Flower cat is sleepy. And then he falls asleep. And then flower dance. It makes flowers grow. They kind of like it. So do flower cat. So flower cat's just like a silly little guy, you know? Flower zone, do not enter. And I did these as well during class. Hello, I'm flower cat. I like flowers, candy, magic mouse, nothing else. And it's just like the same thing, you know? They're all disjointed stories, slice of life type of thing. So it's not necessary that you read all of them. I do really like this one. Flower Cat is feeling kind. He wants to do something nice. What, um, but what? What does Magic Mouse like? Does he even speak? Sometimes, no. So he wants to do something nice for Magic Mouse, but he doesn't really know what to get him. It's like, do you want a flower? He says, no thanks. He tries so hard, but he's still wrong. No thanks. And then he finally gives him a high five. And of course, he loves it. 
so I really like this story. I think it's really cute. Um, and that's basically the last one in here. The last page of Smile, which is really cute. I didn't even intend for it to be the last panel, but it ended up being the last one. It came out really cute. So that's the tale of Flower Cat and how this turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the journey. Um, I stayed up really late doing this. I shouldn't have, but I did. But especially like these pages, I love how this first comic turned out. And I want to do more of these just because I love like playing with the paper and materials and it just looks like this looks so good i was debating on just binding like up to i think up to here is where the first uh signature ends or something and i was debating on just binding this as a book in the beginning because i was running out of time right because that's honestly my favorite section but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys liked it let me know what you guys think of flower cat in the comments below i would love to hear comments because i've actually never publicly shown any flower cat comics until right now so you guys are getting all the ones that i've been hiding from you so feel free to pause and read them if you want to but i will see you guys in the next video i will post these on my instagram and you guys stay hydrated take a nap stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you guys when i see you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the tales of flower cat